exploring the countryside of Vietnam, a night ride, and testing endurance limits. And this is Drone and Fern. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. You can tell the city is waking up now. Hi there, this is George. Welcome back to my second day of the bike adventure. I'm here now in Fuli, and today I will be riding to another city, another province called Qinghua Hoinan. It's about 100 kilometers, so I hope to finish it within 10 to 11 hours. It's gonna be very, very tough, much more tougher than yesterday. So uh, don't waste our time, let's get going. In this series of journal phone, I'm riding 800 kilometers across Vietnam. The country has more than 50 million bicycles, and a part of every road is reserved for bicycles. So the best way to explore the country is on a bike, as you can cover more ground while still being able to meet new people and stop wherever you want. For the second episode of the journey, I will be riding from Fuli to Deng Hua, then to Vinh. It's relaxing to ride along the road in Vietnam, as there is only one major route, so you won't get lost, and the roads are flat and smooth. After a few kilometers, I discover a new audience market. So as the new host of Drone Info, I feel like I have the duty to promote the show and explore the market besides the Lama Island. So I have prepared these QR code stickers. If you scan it, it will direct you to our YouTube channel. So I have finally escaped from the urban area and I'm now in the countryside. You can see behind me the mountains, the trees. So I have to say the air quality here is so much better compared to in Hanoi or in Puli. I can finally smell something except from carbon dioxide. Although most sections of the road are clean and well built, getting dirty is still inevitable on a road trip like this. So the road was very muddy and my shoes and my bike as you can see are very dirty now I have to get, get it clean as soon as possible because one, once it's dried out it will be very difficult to clean So congratulations to me I have finally arrived to Qinghua city I finished the day earlier than I expected, so I took the chance to give my bike a shower and prepare for the next day. I just checked out from my hotel uh, and ready to go on to my day three of the bike adventure. I will be going to another city called Wing today. It's gonna be a 140 kilometers ride. I don't know if I can make it, but I will just try my best. Can you see what I have found there? Man, They are not smart, but they are very cautious. So I need to approach them and take a selfie with them. Let's see if I can make it. Okay, they, they start running. Okay. Okay, never mind. Never mind. No selfie then. Okay. Next time, maybe. The route is longer than I expected, and I'm still far away from my destination. I've been riding non stop for 9 hours today, and I still got 50 more kilometers to go. Um, I have to say, compared to the last two days, I started to feel a little bit lonely now, because there's no one you can talk to, and the only thing you can do is to keep pedaling and keep pedaling. Um, I'm a bit exhausted now, but it's already um, 4 p.m. in the afternoon and the sky is getting darker now. I need to get to the next destination before night, uh, otherwise it could be quite dangerous. Night falls, it's getting more difficult to see the way and I have to paddle harder. As you can see, it's quite dark now. Oh, you can't see because it's too dark. Uh, but I still got 15 more kilometers to go and I'm not really really tired 
I really want to go home um, and that's the reason why I said uh, I don't want to ride at night because as you can see there is not much traffic light um, wish me good luck Twelve hours ride, 140 kilometers. I have finally arrived in Bang City. So today's journey has taught me two lessons. The first is wake up earlier if you know you are going to do a long distance trip, so that you can avoid riding in the dark. And the second one is uh, try your best to find someone to accompany you, so that you don't get that lonely, and also for the safety reason. Um, I'm very very tired now, so it's about time for me to go to bed. Um, so this is the end of this episode. Um, I have finished 300 kilometers in the past three days, so 500 more to go. Um, this trip is very challenging for me, so I really 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 need your support. Um, please stay tuned, watch our videos, follow us. Uh, on Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you again. My name is George and this is Drone and Fro.